Bless the Lord, brothers and sisters. So happy to be back yet again. I thank God for you tuning in. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I hope that you have been enjoying the video excerpts uh, that I've been putting out. Hard hitting messages. I pray in the name of Jesus that it uh, draws you closer to the Lord, helps you to understand that we are literally in a war. And um, I want to talk today about something that happened this morning. And I want to talk about, um, I want to talk about the importance of being a strong soldier for the Lord, not backing down to Satan's people and not taking their (laughs) garbage as well. I want to talk a little bit about the importance of knowing who you are in this war and knowing your enemy and knowing what to do (laughs) when somebody gets on your nerves or talks to you out of pocket, if you would, or tries to provoke that spirit of anger or, you know, just says something, you know, that downright hurts. I want to talk about not playing table tennis with trolls because this is not what we're designed to do as children of God. We're not designed to go back and forth and back and forth because that's tennis. That's what tennis people do. huh? They go back and forth all day. And that's not what your goal is, okay? (laughs) So if you experience any type of troll type of behavior, or if the devil's people post something, or somebody in your family, or some, listen, somebody that you come across that literally you know (laughs) that Satan, okay, is all in them and has literally strategically designed them to downright get on your nerves, okay, this message (laughs) can help you. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. I want to talk about some real and relevant stuff that just happened to me. So I want to use me, okay, as an example. Okay. And I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, it, it, it almost provoked me, okay, to get in the flesh. Just almost. Just almost. Oh, yeah. See, one thing about <laughs> Samantha Hicks is that I'm not trying to. How can I say? Put up with nonsense. Oh, yeah. I'm not the one for it. I wasn't built that way. I'm not born that way. I'm not a type of woman (laughs) that is a pushover. All right. If you've been following me a long time, you know (laughs) that I'm a strong-minded, strong-willed individual. And uh, I don't play too kindly with somebody trying to come out of pocket or come sideways or, you know, try to play me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why? Because I'm a child of God. And children of God, okay, have to know that they are royalty. And once you realize that you are a child of a king, literally, okay, literally, I'm not talking about figuratively. I'm talking about you out there listening. Professing Christ, okay? You, that child of God, that blood-washed, blood-bought believer. That you are literally a child of a king, okay? You don't have to put up with nonsense. You don't have to put up with Satanism. You don't have to put up with Satan's people. You don't have to put up with trolls. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, somebody tried it. They tried it. But you know what? They knocked on the right door at the right time. Why? Because Satan know who I am. I just had to remind him. Oh, let's get started. Let me give you some backstory. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Don't play with me. Check this out. <laughs> See, I got to give you some backstory. I have to put things in perspective. This video is not about gossip. This video is talking specifically about waging war against the kingdom of darkness. Let me say it one more time so that you can get it. Because if you get a little bit, you know, on this roller coaster of, oh, let's get the tea and the biscuits, okay? Let's get the gossip going. Then you're going to miss the whole thing. And it's not predicated on that. It's predicated on winning. It's predicated on winning a war, especially if the devil's people try to snap back. Oh, yeah. So let me give you what I'm talking about. I actually was on somebody's channel and it was a 
sad story about a woman who literally lost her child. Okay. And when it comes to children, I have a sweet spot when it comes to children because they're so innocent, you know, and you know, I don't, I don't play kindly to people who abuse children, neglect children, uh, molest children. I, I don't play too kindly with people like that. I don't care who you are. Huh? I don't care if you were my family. I don't care. And I'm not saying, you know, I'm just saying, I don't care who you are. Brothers and sisters, this video stopped like four times. So I know that, I know that, uh, <laughs> this got to get out. Anyway, let me just tell you what happened because I don't want this video to stop again. I literally had to record it like three, three, four times. Anyway, so the woman, I'm not quite sure if I even covered what happened. I'm going to just flow with, um, what I wanted to tell you, which is you have to fight as children of God and you have to realize that this is a war and trolls will do their trolling, <laughs> but you don't have that. You don't have to take it. You don't have to play table tennis with them either. Okay. In other words, you don't have to go back and forth and back and forth playing table tennis with non-believers because they are Satan's people and Satan's people going to do what Satan's people do. But it's a time that you need to snap back. And tell them and, and, and make them realize who you are as a child of God. Because God didn't raise any punks and wimps. Okay? You're not here to be anybody's doormat or anybody's pushover. And I'm certainly not. So anyway, this woman basically had had a child in her womb full term but lost it. It was basically stillborn. And I basically, uh, on her channel, her YouTube channel was basically consoling her, you know, showing her love and everything like that. And she appreciated it. And I also mentioned, you know, how I understand, um, the feeling of losing because I had three miscarriages and that pretty much was it. It was no sob story or anything like that, but somebody tried to snap back and say something out of pocket. And I realized that I was actually talking to a possessed demonic person but at first, I'm telling you that flesh, my flesh was rising because the stuff that the person said was very downright demonic, hurtful, um, just demonic straight up. Like you ever have a comment that, you know, a person curses or whatever and, you know, they just whatever. But when you say stuff like laughing my head. This is what they said to me after I commented and she, like I said, she loved it. She appreciated my uh, love and support and stuff like that. This <laughs> troll, somebody says something like laughing my head off. Now, anytime anybody loses a child, you laughing your head off, you already know from top they're demonic. They are satanic and demonic oppressed. So uh, after my comment, they said laughing my head off. Uh, nobody cares about your miscarriages. It's just a, a nasty bit, basically something about a uh, blood, nasty blood or something, uh, gritty, grimy blood and, and grit. And, uh, nobody's here for your pity party. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. They done knocked on the right door. Y'all. They done knocked on the right door. Brothers and sisters, I, I'm telling you the truth. I was I was kind of hot. I was kind of hot, you know. But I realized after, minutes after, moments after, God dealt with me and let me know, uh, you know, it's demonic. And it, it, this is what I want to talk about today, brothers and sisters. The fact that there's a lot of demonic trolls out there. They're, they're not just regular trolls. That's like 16 and just learning how to cuss type trolls. You feel me? These are demonic entities that are possessing flesh. And once you realize that the better you are to handle these type of individuals. But yeah, man, I, I, I had to, I had to, you know what I mean? I, once it's, once it's coming, once you coming out of your face like that towards me, um, <laughs> I told the person, you know, I forgive the flesh. I forgive your corruptible flesh side, but that demonic side, those legions of demons that's in you to hell you go and to hell you will go if you don't repent. 
And I further told them, I gave them scripture because like I said, I'm talking to demonic entities and you have to back it up with the word of God. And I said that in Jeremiah 1, 5, that God says that in your mother's womb, God knew you. So no, it's not gristle or just grit or just some dirty, nasty blood. It's a life. Oh yeah. And when you're talking about life that I've lost and you just... You know, packaging it like it's just some nasty meat. I have a problem with you. And you're going to be checked. And if you keep it up, devil. Oh, yeah. If you keep it up. Matter of fact, you already going to hell, devil. If keep it up, listen, I'm not listen, I'm not gonna be nice to you, devil, or your people. And that's exactly how we have to be, brothers and sisters. This is the totality of this message. Is that when the devil's people snap at you, bark at you, you better back it up with the word, and you have to have some power and anointing following you. You can't flesh this thing out. Of course, you know, the flesh rose and I'm, I'd be a liar if I, you know what I mean? Because I'm a human being and I have feelings. I have feelings, okay? <laughs> but don't play with me or mine. You feel me? Don't do it. Don't you dare do it because you will get checked. I don't care who you are. See, one thing about Samantha Hicks is I have a lot of love in my heart for the youngins. And I have a lot of love in my heart for folk. But if you cross me the wrong way, it's over. It's over. You understand me? That's how I'm rolling. That's how I'm built. That's how I'm made. I'm not a pushover. I'm not a punk. I'm not raised that way. I'm not brought up in that way. I was brought up to be a strong-minded, strong individual. So don't try to play me. Don't you dare. Well, some people will try, brothers and sisters. Some people will try you. But like I said, there's one way to do it, and that's the right way. So, yeah, in so many words, I just basically told him, you know, I don't receive that. The devil is a liar. There's life in the blood. And if you don't repent, to hell you go forever and ever. Oh, yeah, I'm not playing with these people. I'm not playing with these people. And listen, you don't have to bite your tongue for the devil's people. Listen, you have to realize that you are literally, brothers and sisters, a child of a king. I'm not talking about hearsay. I'm not talking about figuratively. I'm not talking about fairy tales huh? and jingle bells. I'm talking about you are literally a child of a king. And when you realize that you are about God's kingdom and kingdom business, that means that you have to defend it. That means that you have to defend yourself and your people and your children. Oh, yeah. Satan's here to kill, steal, and destroy. Satan so doesn't care about your feelings. It's obvious. Huh? Satan so don't care about your children. Satan doesn't care about your marriage. Satan doesn't even care about you. How about that? And if you, if you realize that, you, the, the more less emotional you get. Oh, yeah. But I'm going to snap back, though. I'm going to let the devil know. By way of the word of God and by way of me letting the devil and the devil's people know. You know who I am. That's what I told Satan. That's what I told the person. Satan, you know who I am. So you got you to gotta talk to these people like you're doing deliverance. huh? When you are doing deliverance, you're telling that demon to come out. But you're also telling that demon, I recognize who you are. But do you know who I am? In other words, do you know that God resides and lives in me? Are you out of your mind? Yeah, I done told them. I done told them. But they done lost their mind posting that trash. That's what I said. So brothers and sisters out there, children of God, I love you. Stay strong. Stay ready in and out of season. Stay worded up and ready because we are in a war. But guess what? We win.